Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo, and in this video we're going to compare the home screen experience of the HTC HD2 with that of the iPhone 3GS. Let's get started by unlocking the devices, and both devices have different unlock screens that we're going to take a look at. Of course, with the iPhone 3GS, we get the date, the time, some notifications, and of course a slide to unlock bar at the bottom. We've seen this a billion times, but on the HTC HD2, we get a little bit more than that, which is really useful. So not only do we get the day and the time and the notifications, but we also get next appointment down here, which is really convenient. So you don't have to unlock your device to see, to go into your calendar application and then to see where you need to be. Also new to the HTC HD2, this is actually a Windows Mobile 6.5 feature, is that the unlock mechanism has some functionality. So if you have a new SMS or a new email or a missed call, when you tap on the unlock button, you'll actually get drop downs for each respective area. And sliding open, sliding over the email notification will drop you right into the email program, as you can see here, which really saves a lot of steps and not having to unlock your phone, then go into email, then look for the new email. This really saves that step and, and can make you more productive as a result. Now let's take a look at the home screens. HTC has done a lot with the home screen of the HD2 to make it super productive and super easy to use. Of course, the iPhone hasn't really changed much. Um, it's still a, a dump of icons. It's a very application-centric device. So in order to do anything, to see a stock quote, or to see the weather, or to dial a contact, you have to open one of these applications. Of course, you can go to the search box and do it from there. But in terms of the information that is on your home screen panel, there really is none. It's all applications that you have to go into. On the HD2, HTC has gone a long way to change this idea. So we have the time, we have the weather, and actually if I go into the start menu and close out, I get clouds behind and it knows where I am right now. So if I travel to New York City, it will change the weather based on where I am. So we also have the, a temperature and the high and low temperature for today. We have the date and the time and a link to our, our alarm clock if we want to set an alarm clock. We also have our next appointment right on the home screen. Now we have what is called quick links. And there are three here, and if you flick upwards, you get an additional four, or actually six. And we can remove some of these quick links. So let me remove one so I can add it again. And what you can do is you can add a lot of different things for these quick links. You can add programs, bookmarks, or contacts. Of course, on the iPhone, you can add programs to your home screen or bookmarks. Uh, but you can't add contacts, which is super convenient, uh, because if you want to have a one-touch access to dial someone, you can also have a one-touch access to email someone or send them a text message. So imagine filling the screen up with people that you, you text on a regular basis or that you email on a regular basis. So a really fantastic way of, of putting the things that you use most on the home screen that I think, uh, personally, in my opinion, is far superior to what you get on the iPhone where you need to drill into any application to really get information. So that was a quick look of the HTC HD2 home screen experience compared to that of the iPhone 3GS. We'll be back with more comparison videos of these two devices soon. That's it for now.